Hello YouTube. Um, this is kind of like a follow-up to my Echo 3B uh, review. Um, this is my old thermostat that the Echo P3 um, replaced and I just wanted to go over general thermostat wiring so that way you'll understand <clears throat> the things that I learned by installing an Echo P3. So if you look at this old thermostat first off you want to see what you have. Um, this thermostat actually had five different wires okay and the the first thing you want to understand about uh thermostat wiring in general is that typically there's no there's no standard of what color should go where there, there's suggestions so i'm going to go off suggestions okay we'll start with this r r c thermostat wiring right there can you see that i think you can see that okay do you see how there's like this pin that connects both of them together that's because that is the R wire, which supplies 24 volts of AC power. And I'll explain what that means, but the RC is just the same thing as R, basically. Um, one, if, if you have uh, two different um, systems being powered by this, namely the air conditioning and the heat on one thermostat, you really only need one of these to switch between uh, heat and cool basically because it the R wire just provides 24 volts period uh, The reason why it has an RC and an R is because if you have the wire coming down from the air conditioner separately from the heat you can actually wire uh, each 24 volt wire for example uh, R could be from the heat uh, sometimes that's called the RH wire by the way for heat and that would be the red wire from the heat system while if you had another red wire you might want to put it on rc for just the air conditioning uh the reason why they jump for it is because if you only have one red wire whether it be for air conditioning only or or for heat it doesn't really matter because one red wire can power the 24 volts all right the next wires that you're usually going to see and use uh, the G wire. The G wire controls your fan. So if you have air conditioning or a, uh, a furnace, okay, something with a fan, the G wire, what's going to happen is the R wire that's providing 24 volts is going to connect through the thermostat to the G to turn the fan on. Okay, so again, R supplies 24 volts. When you ask for the fan, the fan on, it will go, it will connect the R to the G, okay? Also, if you have it on auto, when the air conditioning or heat wants to work, the R will connect the G when the system comes on or wants to come on. So that would be very important should you have a fan in your system. If you have central air, most likely you have a fan. Okay, the next thing, that we're gonna focus on air conditioning first. This Y wire, usually goes to your condenser that's the big box outside if you have central air okay some people have two if you only have one the y wire which is usually yellow remember again they don't have to follow the color scheme but they have suggestions yellow is usually your y wire okay and what happens is that tells the condenser to start up okay the fan is for the indoor fan, and the Y is for the condenser. So moving on from there, okay, we're going to get a little more intricate. If you notice, this R stuff over here is just power. So it just sends 24 volts to wherever it has to go, and that's what a thermostat does. We're going to step into the heating world now for thermostats, and that deals with this W wire. The W wire is for your heat. Uh, basically, usually the wire is white. And, and what it does is it sends 24 volts from one of your R's. In this case, it doesn't matter which R, okay? Um, but it sends it from either RH or R to the W wire to turn the heat on at the heat source. And that's how the heat works. Now, in my Echo 3B installation, I installed it on air conditioning only. So I didn't have any heat because they had a thermostat across the way. That control the heat and only control the air conditioning. The problem was is originally I didn't know that the W 
one was heat. That's what I learned in my explorations with fixing that and doing the Echo Beat 3. And two, when I went up to the attic, I did not know that the person that installed it put the W on what we call the common wire. Okay, now you don't see a common wire here, okay? But in the newer thermostats, like the Echo B3 and all the programmable Wi-Fi ones, they need power to run. And some run on batteries, but the Echo B3 in the Nest and stuff like that use this thing called a C-wire. A C-wire is the common wire, okay? That is not on this thermostat because this thermostat does not require power. But if you have a C-terminal, that means that you need to have a wire come down and, and from the uh, transformer or your circuit board in your unit and provide 24 volts to just the thermostat. That cannot be from the R, it has to be from the common. Now on the common wire, it's usually black. Okay. Um, I have mine as blue because in when I took this thermostat out, it had the four wires I needed for just the air conditioning without a C wire. But luckily, the person that installed it, that did not understand that the W wire does not go to a common wire, which is 24 volts all the time. I luckily caught that, but uh, the common wire will usually be black and provide 24 volts just for the running of the thermostat. Again, you won't need that if you have one of these thermostats that does not require power. <clears throat> However, you want to future-proof things, so if you're ever installing one of these and you don't need a fancy thermostat, try to install at least five wires in your wall, so that way people can actually upgrade later on, or you can upgrade later on. All right, looking at this thermostat, we have an O. These are the less common ones. An O is for uh, voltage to a cool system. It's usually a uh, heat exchange system to cool off things. Usually the orange, it's usually orange. The wire's usually orange. Sorry, I'm just not used to these because I don't use these. And the B though is for a heat exchange unit. And so that provides uh, 24 volts to B. And that's what power was it. So that is your typical wiring of a thermostat. Usually you won't have to worry about anything except for R's, GW's, and Y's. However, on some thermostats, not this one, because this wouldn't run it. If you have a two, uh, two, a second stage cooling system, in other words, you have two condensers out there with variable feed, uh, so fan speeds, you might have a terminal that says Y2. It's basically the same thing as the Y. It's just going to run the second condenser outside your house for air conditioning and likewise you might have a two-stage heat system so you might have a w2 terminal and again that will just run your second stage uh heating device but typically like i said you're just gonna have some r's a gw and y to run your heat and everything else i just wanted to go over this standard tutorial on uh what wires go where and why um, if you ever have any doubts, you know, make sure that you know what you're doing. Because like I said, the uh, person that set up my system actually connected a C wire or a common wire from the attic and the uh, air handler to the W, which is heat. And if I didn't catch that, it would uh, not do very nice things to uh, the Echo B3. And it also would probably knock out things. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's all I'm going to introduce in this video. More videos to come about what I learned by installing my Echo B3 device.